girls with their nails done now. All right, everybody, so we've been looking at the COVID on the outside. The sun is beautiful, why not? But hey, there is more inside the actual Le Conte Center, and it's not just COVID, it's Chevelle's as well. So let's go in and have a look at some of the most top show cars when it comes to the COVID and Chevelle's. Not too bad, how's it going? Good, good, good. You're more than welcome to try any of our hydration pack just so they caught your attention. Well, a free sample will get everybody's attention. Absolutely. <laughs> so what company are you guys? Sure, so three different companies. We are Hydrate with the Hintons. They are a hydration pack that mixes in 32 ounces of water. No red dyes or preservatives. Each one does something different for your body. Okay. So this one that I'm refreshing is elderberry, zinc, vitamin C, and vitamin D. It's all for your immune system and inflammation. I have one that's 100% mineral based. It controls cravings from salt or sweet. Energy is my number one seller. It's all those electrolytes and B vitamins. Herbs to calm you down and plants to help you focus. Our whole passion is to teach the world a way to drink more water. I love that passion. I love that passion. You're on Rana's radar. So oh! Let's have a look. I'm definitely interested in trying sure. the one with the vitamin my C. Pleasure. Guys, you know I'm always on my feet, and so many people have asked me, how do I do it? I do drink a lot of water, and then I survive a lot on lemonade to just fill with sugar. And they do have the answer. Let's do it. Yep, it does. So let's so, try this. Sugar free, calorie free, carb free, and fat free. Just 100% natural. Well, yum. And it uses beets to color it, which is really, really good for your heart. That is so yum. Thank you. And they come in pouches? They come in pouches. And the more pouches you buy, the more you save. Everything is mix and matchable. Wow. And Hydrate with the Hittens will ship right to your door. And are these pouches cold right now, what you've got? So the pouches right here are okay. sold individually. Each pack does two bottles of water, so 32 ounces. Okay. So the one that I was pouring in here was because the other ice had melted. So we had lost that 32 ounces, so we had to refresh it. But one of those does two bottles of water. Okay, can I try the energy you one sure too? Can. Yeah. I'm gonna have to get these for everybody, honestly. And I always like supporting the vendors. Thank you. So sugar free, calorie free, carb free, fat free, it's gonna taste totally different than that. Oh my god, that's it looks even more nicer. Maybe it could be more sugary. <laughs> it's my and it's sugar free. And it's sugar free. Yep, that's my number one seller everywhere I go because the younger generations hooked on those awful energy cans, I've gotta get them off of. And as older generation, we just lose energy. And those electrolytes. So when we were growing up, we remember PD Light, Gatorade, and Powerade. Those are the healthy versions of those electrolytes. Okay, so can I get um, the five sticks? I guess you the sure trial pack. What five would you like? That's the hard part, beautiful. The energy <laughs> one. <laughs> That's the hard part. You got to pick, baby. The energy one. Okay, all yeah. five of those. All five of them. That's pleasure. really yummy. Appreciate it. But hey, if people are watching this and they want to get in touch with you, how do they do that? So if you look up Hydrate with the Hinton, that's H-Y-D-R-A-T-E with W-I-T-H, the T-H-E Hinton, H-I-N-T-O-N-S. You'll find us all over Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you so much, Han. You're welcome. Thank you.
All right, everybody. I had an awesome time last week in Gasoline Alley looking at some of the classic racing cars. So it's been a bit about racing on the channel. And now here at the Corvette Expo, we've got a racing Corvette. Bruce, how's it going? Doing great. How about you? I'm good. Thank you. Love what you've got here. I Thank love you. that it's got two. One belongs to your friend. Right. Two different Corvettes. Of course. Right. Now you've got number 42 and it's a race car. Tell us about that. Well, it's a, it's a vintage Group 6 uh, race, vintage race car. It's got a big block, A production, which means it comes to the big block, aluminum headed roller cam. Beautiful car, about 28, 2900 pounds, uh, maybe somewhere around 500 horsepower, and it's a blast to drive. You know, you see all these Corvettes out here when Soar Dunn off and others designed the Corvettes it wasn't to have a bunch of stickers on them and to set in the show they built them to compete and race yeah and I just believe they belong on a track and uh, we, we've been on several tracks around the country with this one and, and just have a blast doing it. Wow, beautiful. And what was the year again? This is a 72. It's the last year 72. you can run in the in the class that it runs in, which is group six within the vintage racing. And it'll race against uh, AC Cobras, the Camaros, other Corvettes, some Jags, depending on how they're grouping the classes together. And so, you know, it'll race other vintage sports cars of the same era, and, and they do very well. They do very well. So tell us, obviously we've got a 454 in there, and it's turbojet. Yeah, it's a it's a 454. The car would have originally come with a, a, a 460 horse. This one's actually a ZZ 454. That's a crate motor from GM, so it's got a, a roller cam, but it's aluminum headed. Make an honest 500 horsepower all, all day long with a good set of roller rockers, and it will literally run on pump gas. We usually run racing gas in it, but it'll run on pump gas. And that and, would have nitro in there? it? No, just 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 a, a premium premium gas or racing fuel. Racing fuel. And it uh. And we'll drive it, if you'll notice in the back, we have a tag on it. My wife and I, we'll, we'll get out and drive it on the road. No, no blinkers, you have to use your hand signal, but it has brake lights. But uh, we have a great time with the car. It's we have to look on the inside here, everybody. Um, this, look at this. There's a lot of things in there that makes this a racing car. It does, correct. So, are you able to walk me through it? Can sure. You have a look inside. Of course, it's got it's it's got the seats. The 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 position is going to be a little different. I'm going to be a little lower and laid back. Yes. Because I have to have headroom above the helmet. There's a rule that my helmet has to be an inch and a half below the top of the roll bar. But it's got the five point racing harness. Uh, of course, you've got your switches and your kill switches and a fire system, and that's what a lot of the stickers and stuff all have different meanings for the, the crews. If I were to be in an accident on the road, they would know where the emergency bottle is for the fire and how to shut the power off on the car. And, and they, would, they would be able to shut it off from the back as well? Well, they, they shut it off in the dash on this one. A lot of them put them on the back. They yeah. just need to be able to reach them from outside the car. Okay. And if you'll see here, this E, this is an emergency. It shows them my fire bottles here. So if they come up to the car and it's on fire, they'll know that right here. They just they pull would, the fire I can't do that. And on the other side, there's a lightning bolt that will show them that's where the electrical system is turned off. Okay. And so they'll be able to reach right in the door and turn that off. And what would happen when that fire switch gets pulled? When, well, if they pull the fire switch, yeah. if you'll look in the back right there, yes. there's a fire bottle. And those those lines there, plumb, it's got, it'll, it'll put fire retardant under my feet and in the cab and then also under the hood oh. it, so it basically will just surround me in the car and fire retardant uh, uh, actually this is just more of a just like a regular fire extinguisher yes. would have. Yeah. but it'll blow out it's got nozzles one under the rear back here where the fuel cell is you'll see there's one that comes up on the other side of the engine and then i have one inside there to protect me if it's safe and of course i have to wear the fire retardant racing suit and helmets and gloves and everything 72, I love the uh, fenders, yes, the wider no body. It's very different. They're beautiful. Kind of feminine shape, I think, which is which, what makes them so beautiful. I think. <laughs> That's why you like to drive them? Yeah, no doubt. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> wow, this is awesome. And how long have you had this for? I've had this one for about four years. I've always fooled with those C3 Corvettes. And, and uh, this is the first true race car that I've had. I had one other project that wasn't finished, and this is the first one that I've had that's a true race car. And like I was saying earlier, see, here's a shutoff to show them that if they come up in a case of an emergency, that they can get to the shutoff switch on the dash right there. It kills all the power to the car, so that if it doesn't have a fire, it keeps any sparks from happening, it just shuts all the electric off. Okay. But they're a blast to drive. I've had this one 
on the track at Virginia International Raceway at the Corvette National Museum track a few times. I've had it in Houston at Houston International Raceway. It's, it's raced in Austin at the at uh, the, the Circuits of America down there. So. Out of all the Corvettes, I think that the uh, 70s models really look the most like a racing car. They look, they, they've got, they're just beautiful cars and they're yeah. coming into their own. For a long time, you know, the 70s were, were kind of like the ugly stepchildren of the Corvette world, but now they're they're really coming into their Some own. Some people say that, I mean, they don't, they don't like the split window in the back. Right. I don't these, know, I don't mind them. These are beautiful. I just think they've got a beautiful shape. The back looks beautiful. Like you said, the flare, when they're flared out like this with the wider tires, I mean, it's just a, it looks like an old race car. You know? It does, it does. And one of my other favorite features that I always like is the exhaust on the side. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. And those actually, a lot of the tracks now require us to have mufflers in them. And so this one's muffled some. I have absolute straight pipes. And when, when the big blocks come down the back stretch at 150 miles an hour, at, you know, 6,500 <laughs> RPMs, and that, it's a sound like you'll never hear anywhere else on earth. That's unbelievable. You love this car. Oh, it's visceral. It's a visceral it experience to drive face. this car, no doubt. No doubt. My wife will be down shortly, so I love her more. Okay, that's good. <laughs> if anyone asks. There you go. You know? This car, this car, and behind my grandchildren, this car comes in a close third. Good for you. And how are you enjoying yourself here at the Corvette? Oh, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's one of my first times here in years. I haven't been back. And, and uh, Jeff, my friend, invited me to come and show the car beside him. And, and I thought it's kind of, you know, it's not a show car. So it's not kind of this whole red carpet show car thing, but it's got a great response. And again, this is what these cars were intended to do. It doesn't have to be a show car. Go beat on What makes fun. a show car? It's it right. looks good. It looks good. So many people want to stop and look at it. They've taken a lot of pictures. I've answered tons of questions. There's been a couple of people who have been interested in maybe getting into this hobby, you know, as far as racing them. And to me, that's what they were meant to do. And I was meant to race. Absolutely beautiful. Sports Car Club of America. Correct. Well, to race in my class, you have to be a licensed driver to make because if you, you know they won't make sure you won't hurt yourself or someone else. And so I carry a, a Sports Car Club of America uh, license. Okay. They're a sanctioning sports car body. Uh, they have all sorts of racing that they support and grassroots all over the country. And most of the vintage associations accept their licensing criteria. So I have to stay every two years. I go through a medical. Every year I have to fill out, the, at the beginning I had to go through literally a three-day instructional uh, licensing class uh, where we had to race among other people and understand the flags and proper etiquette on the track and things like that. Wow, that is so cool. It was cool. It's, you know, there are worse ways to spend your time and money. So Exactly, exactly. Love it. Bruce, thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. that we all like to do is keep them looking nice and clean and I always like to explore the vendors so here inside the Lecon Centre for the Chevelles and the Smokies and the Corvette Expo let's see what we've got here Big Daddy Ceramic Detailer Ceramic Shampoo give me, give me three kits it's very popular it's been very busy are you Big Daddy there? I am Big Daddy yeah. <laughs> what else you need? We came from Minnesota. We tried to through the snow to get here. <laughs> snowing really well. There you go. Congratulations. Thank you very much.
Wow, everybody, this has been such a big hit. The Corvette Expo and Chevelle's in the Smokies here at the Lecon Center in Pigeon Forge. Beautiful day. So many beautiful looking cars, so many Corvettes. And now I think we're going to get ready to do the cruise. So I can't wait to show you all that because we're going to the Dragon's Tail, which is just a major hit. But not only that, we're going with all the Corvettes. So stay tuned and um, let's continue. Okay, here we go with the specialty awards. First one is Hearth Side Cabin Rentals. They're one of our sponsors and they picked a car. So the Hearth Side Cabin Rentals Award goes to car number 430. 430. It's a hot pick. Hot pick award. There you go. 384. 384. Who's number 384? We got a nice award for you. There he comes, right over there behind you, or beside you. Racing Champs. Hot pick goes to car number eight. Car number eight. Number 218 here. If nobody shows up, I guess we'll hold that and over until tomorrow. I don't know which car it is. We might have got the number wrote down wrong, but I can tell you the car. If somebody with that blue Camaro would come over here, that's the car they picked. Is there anybody here with that blue Camaro sitting right over there? That's the car they picked. I guess not. Okay, sorry. We'll have to take another one tomorrow. So where it goes to number 368. 368. Love you. Thank you. This big old nice plaque here. There is a lot of awards and I've they seen it turn around I've back so many people can see it. Pull it off there for me. It's a lot here, but there is a big award ceremony on happening tomorrow, which is going to show ah, the Chanel of the Year and the Corvette of the Year. So we'll try and get that on film. First one nice. for the, uh, this is nice for the participation yeah. today, we've got two of these. Uh, the Cross Flags Corvette Club with 21 cars. Cross Flags Corvette, 21 cars. Everybody, the COVID Expo is come, has come to an end. Um, I've been absolutely smashed. Having an awesome time between this and the ponies as well. How's it going, Steve? We've had an excellent, excellent turnout. Yesterday we had over 700 Corvettes. Today we had over 450. Wow. Uh, just beautiful weather. Uh, can't ask for anything else. You can't ask for anything else. I know you're super tired. You guys got the awards <laughs> happening right now. Yep. It's been such a big hit, honestly, and I'm so happy to have met you and connected with you. You know, Byron and the guys are absolutely fabulous for running this for so many years. They've done such a great job. And because of that, you've had so many regulars as well. Yes, indeed. And I love the connection between you and Byron as well. So tell us about your experience so, with the Corvette Expo. So I have been uh, working with the Corvette Expo since I was 15 years old. Uh, I've known Byron since I was five or six. Um, he and my dad were great friends and still are. Uh, I've helped him at the shows for the last 35 years. This year he decided it was time for a little help and he asked, we talked about it. He said, he said, well, it's a lot of work. I said, Byron, I feel like you've trained me my whole life to do this. 
Well, he has. You've been a part of the show for so many years. You know exactly what's happening. And the fact that Byron has now included you yeah. is so good. Like, I mean, yes. I love that because that means that the show is going to continue. You know, Byron could have retired or anything, yeah. but no, he's going to be a part of it still. Yep. To He'll be right here to the end and I uh, wouldn't have it any other way. His, his, knew, his support is tremendous. He's a smart man. Yes, he is. He's a very smart man because he knew exactly who to pick, someone who's been part of the show, yes. someone who's passionate about this as well. Yes. And you and Greg. Yes, Greg yes. Harris, my partner. Greg has worked for Byron since before he was 15. Uh, he's a little older than me, uh, but we've known each other the entire time. We enjoy this. I've had a Corvette since I was 17 years old. There you go. <laughs> and I don't know. There's nothing else like it. Well, the crowds have been absolutely <laughs> fabulous. They love it. They love the show. Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge love this as well. Yes. We had an awesome time on the cruise up to the Dragon's Tail yesterday. Yes. <laughs> I'll do my best to put that footage out there. It was fast. There was a lot of curves, um, but it was a lot of fun. Yes, a lot and of you fun. You guys do this so well. So you do that on the Fridays. Yes. You put the cruise. Yes. Do the Dragon Cruise on Friday. We have a show, uh, parking show both days. Uh, we just got. Kind of, we got a lot of stuff to offer, a lot of vendors, yep. a lot of cars, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Corvette Expo is all Corvettes, no matter the year and make. Correct. We also do uh, a, a small portion of Chevys and the Smokies. That's right. Let's talk about Chevelles and so the Smokies. So we do the we do Chevelles, Camaros, C10s, any of the GM products. They're super hot right now. Oh, they We're are. GM people. Yep. Uh, don't get me wrong. We like other stuff, but uh, we've included that this year, and it was a big hit. We're going to make it bigger. The Chevelles and the Smokies have always been a big hit yes. at this show. You know, we checked out the Chevelle of the Year last year for 2022. That blue was just beautiful. Yes. And the way that that man had just replicated down to the last beautiful. paint. It was absolutely beautiful. <laughs> you guys know what you're doing. It's a fabulous show. I've had such a great time. We, we appreciate you coming down. We're glad to have you here. Thank you for the welcome. And you know what? It's been a fabulous weekend. And I cannot wait for next year. Now, for next year, for people who want to get involved, yes. spectators as well as registrants, how do they do that? CorvetteExpo.com. Check it out. Uh, be next March 15, 16. And check us out online. we got Facebook, uh, Corvette Expo Pigeon Forge. Chevy's in the Smokies. Uh, check it out. We'd love to have you here. Now, we've noticed there's two Facebook pages. Yes. One is the Corvette Expo, and then one is Corvette Expo Pigeon yes. Forge. For everybody, which one would be the best to go so to? So, they're both really good. Okay. Uh, we do a little different stuff on the Corvette Expo Pigeon Forge. We, a little more music, a little more uh, entertainment in it. Okay. Um, it's just, it's, they're the same. Yep. We share everything to both of them. Okay. Uh, but just something a little different. Something a little different. Everybody, you have to come down. You have to check out the beautiful Betty. Meet the people. See how the show is run. Le Corte Center is one of my favorite indoor venues. It's a great it's place. It's right here in Pigeon Forge. Amazing air-conditioned place. Indeed. As you <laughs> as well. And you've got great parking here, and there's free parking on site. Correct. There's free parking on site, and we have room for over 700 Corvettes and Chevys on the lot. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Appreciate this, and we can't wait for next year. Thank you. Any other club in the building have four to ten cars? Any other club in the building have four to five cars? Was there anybody else in the building?
Kevin Carlson and the Walking Dale Bunto. This is our Superhero Award. You may have seen them walking around here this weekend. Batman and all the people from Gotham City. Come on up here, Buddy Glenn, Bruce Wayne, and Gary Esler. Come on up. All the way from Gotham City, folks. They spent a lot of time out in the hot parking lot of history. Take a
Hunter's Custom Automotive. They're over in Nashville, Tennessee. They've been a sponsor of this show and the Rod Run for a lot of years. Appreciate those folks. Hunter's Custom Automotive had two picks, and one of them goes to number 117, Clay and Tanya God Godfrey with a Corvette. And the other Hunter's Custom Automotive pick goes to number 354, Eddie Bernard with a Nova. Next is Hearthside Cabin Rentals. Those folks have been uh, the next one goes to number three fifty seven, Shane Brownlee with a seventy nine C ten. Okay, another fresh insurance hot pick is number 41, Dudley Young, 2010 Grand Sport. I need to back up here just a little bit. Julie Higgins, are you still in? Is it your birthday? Thing around. 
Best of show no, 2023. No. <laughs> <laughs> I should have got it in my hands. Congratulations. Best That's a lot of golf coins. Best of the Smokies. Goes to number 203, Larry Bowling with a 66 Chevelle Vertical. And best of show, Corvette. Goes to number 132, Jerry Lindon, with a 59 convertible. Now,